peeps, welcome to our colorful channel, I'm Eminem Car Shepherds, I'm Martin and I'm Mario and for those of you that are new to our channel, we do awesome car reviews, we do insanely cool exhaust videos, how to do it yourself videos and much more. And for the purpose of today's video, we're gonna change the oil of my Mark 6 GTI and we're gonna show you how to do it step by step. Yeah, and you got the oil and the filter bro? So far I got the filter and I told that you're gonna order the oil so you can go and pick it up. Oh yeah, you know what, I try to blame on him but and it's okay, I ordered it online, we're gonna go and pick it up, let's go get it bro. Let's go. What's up bro, we're gonna get your oil right now, huh? Yeah, let's go get it. Right? Yeah, yeah, we're in the way, <laughs> we are on our way to Walmart to get Martin's oil. You get in Walmart the best price possible for oil on your car. You can't beat Walmart's pricing. See you there. Las Vegas. We live in Vegas, baby. Yeah, yeah. Goddamn. God. Look at the strip right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Little ice cube in there. Morning like a bit of duck. <laughs> hey, here we are, Walmart. You arrived in the destination. All right, we arrived at Walmart. We're gonna go pick up the oil real quick from the pickup area. Because we bought it online, you can save you some time. <laughs> All right, at Walmart, always busy. What's up, bro? Let's grab it, bro. Let's get the oil and get the hell out of here. It's right here. Okay, he's gonna go get the order real quick. Gentlemen, right here, all the pickups. Okay, we got the oil, right? Yeah. Show the oil, bro. I wanna show something real quick. Make sure you get the European formula. It's specifically for GTIs, for Volkswagens, Audis, and Mercedes-Benz. It's only for German cars. Castro Edge, baby, 5W30. <coughs> Advanced Full Synthetic, yeah! Let's go change that thing, bro. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. All right, guys, as you saw, we got the oil already. Let me show you the tools you're gonna need. So you're gonna need a flashlight. You're gonna need the oil, of course. <laughs> the oil filter from the dealer. You're gonna need a Torx bit set. In this case, you're going to need exactly Torx T45 to unscrew the oil pan bolt. Then you're gonna need the magic pliers for the filter. <laughs> they work for any filter. A rack, a oil pan to, I mean, oil pan jerk thing so you can collect the oil. A cardboard so you don't make a mess in your garage. And that's it. So let's go to the process. Oh, and a funnel. I have one in the back, but I'll show it to you later. Ah, yeah. So as you can see, we already jacked up the car. So in this particular car, the oil pan is going to be kind of in the middle, but more to the right of the car. So we jacked it up on the right side and always use a jack stand. So just for extra precaution, you don't know what's going to happen. You don't trust the jack. Remember that, that's safety. So now I'm going to go in a, in a under the car and unscrew the bolt for the oil pan. All right guys, I'm already under the car. There's my flashlight. I got gloves. So I'm gonna unscrew, the, the, this is the nut, it's right here for the oil pan. So all you gotta do is just unscrew it a little bit. Just a little, whoop, there you go. So you can let go. And then put your oil, oil pan right there. And just keep, keep unscrewing it until all the oil drips out. Careful, it's preferably to do this on a cold car, but we used the car, that was that was not good, but <laughs> let me see if I can catch the boat. I highly doubt it, but I'm gonna see. Hold on, let me. Okay. Okay. Woo! There you go. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny, huh, my friend? <laughs> so we're gonna let that dry, I mean, drain. And we're gonna go on top to unscrew the filter, but we're gonna let that drain really good. Okay, now uh, I'm gonna screw the cap on the top so the, the oil can drain quicker, so all the air can come out. 
So I'm gonna do that, take off the cap, put it right here, take off that plastic crap off. Oh, I think Ooh, we haven't shown those uh, red R8 coils. Yeah, we did, but that was on the very first video. I don't think the people remember. Oh, if you didn't see it, go and check it out. We named it the Wolf in Sheep's Clothing. So there's a filter right here. So the way to get this, you have to remove that vacuum line. Kind of hot, oh wow. So you can unscrew it. There you go, just like that, put it right here. So there's the filter and you're gonna use the big pliers, grab it just like that and unscrew it. There you go. Someone was and put, the street. And put something underneath like a rag here because when you unscrew the filter, you don't wanna drip oil everywhere. So I'm gonna just do that real quick and get the new filter ready so you can just sniff it. Ah, nice and shiny. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Get the new filter ready so you can swap it out real quick. So put it right there. Very nice. Perfect. Now you can unscrew it by hand. There you go. Whoop. Put it on the floor. Oh wow, it's hot. <laughs> oh, okay. So as you can see right here, you can see where the filter stays right there. So you can wipe everything. Be nice. There you go. Get the new filter and just screw it back. Ooh, mama. That's it. And then you put the plastic cover back on. You close the cap before you, you pour the new oil. You go under and I'm gonna see you under so I can show you not to over tighten the oil pan. Okay, before we put bolt. The, the bolt back on the oil pan, make sure you clean it with brake cleaner real quick. So uh, it'll be nice and clean. Clean up your tool. And now once it's, once it's clean, we're going to go under the car and put it back. Let's go. Okay, now before you put the, the bolt back on, clean the oil pan real quick with your rag. It's gonna drip, but once you put the nut on, it's gonna stop, so. There you go. Perfect. Wipe it, get your ratchet, and tighten it. And make sure when you tighten the, nut, the bolt, careful not to over tighten it, because if you do, you can have a big problem. So just be careful and tighten it with a middle, middle size ratchet, just so it stops turning. That's it. Don't give it a, a lot of pressure. Wipe it down and we're gonna go on top. We're gonna pour the new oil. And then always before you drop off the car, when you put the new oil, see if there's any leakage, if you have to tighten the nut. And that's it, you're almost done. Okay, so we almost done. We gotta pour the new oil in. Make sure you use a funnel so you don't make a mess all over your engine bay. If you don't have a funnel, go to Walmart. They have everything over there. So this particular engine, 2.0 liter turbocharged TSI engine takes approximately 4.9 quarts. This is five quart jug. Just dump the whole thing in there and you'll be good. You'll be solid. Look at that nice clean oil. Almost done. I just want to mention we're not sponsored by Walmart. <laughs> we just like her there. We just like their cheap and good prices for quality stuff. There you go. So the whole jug in. And once you're done with the oil, all the dirty oil from the jug, from your engine, the old oil. Make sure you use the same funnel, dump it in the jug you just poured it out and, and take it to O'Reilly's or AutoZone or any auto parts store. Just go in there, tell them, hey, I want to turn in some dirty oil that I just changed and they'll, they'll, they'll make you sign a form and you're done and job's done. So thank you for watching. 
and we're gonna see you in a little All bit. All right, guys, we reached the end of our video, and as the previous how to do it yourself videos, we hope that we've been really helpful to you in the process. Yeah, and you learn how to change the oil on your car by yourself, and always when you buy oil, check Walmart because they have the best prices. And for the oil filter, always go to the dealer. You're gonna pay a little bit more money, but it's worth it in the end. And if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. It's gonna help our channels grow tre tremendously. And right. share the video with a friend. And also, always, we're gonna see you in the, next, the next one. one. Yay! Yeah.